Good morning. Welcome to Isla Mujeres. Now, if everybody keeps messaging me saying you don't pronounce the S, I would call it Isla Mujeres. It's terrible lighting here. I would call it Isla Mujeres, but in Spanish, they pronounce the S. So it's Isla Mujeres. Then get some breakfast, and maybe rent. One of these little golf buggies. Apparently it's the best way to get around, is to go by golf buggy. I have heard they charge as much, this lighting is terrible. I have heard they charge as much as $70 for a day. One of these golf carts. First stop, breakfast. Yeah, yeah. I had my breakfast. It's gonna film me though, it was so dark. It's had a bagel. Egg and cheese. It's a place, I got put tequila for you. That's fine, thank you, brother. Right, you get that everywhere you go. Free tequila. Just having a walk. Now, they say the thing you should do here, you can see them all driving past me, is hire a golf car or a golf buggy for the day and drive around. They're like, $50, $70 for the day. It's a lot of money. Now let me tell you why I think that's a bit of a scam. This island is tiny. Very, very small. All the hotels are right here, which is right by the ferry port. And of course, that's where all the main shops and restaurants and the golf buggy rental places are. But they say you can go and explore the island. And of course, you can go and explore the island. And um, the other side of the island is some nice beaches with a beach club. Awesome, several beach clubs. As I said in the last video, or one of the last videos I did in Cozumel, is uh, when you go to these beach clubs and you drive in, you can't really do anything, you can't drink or anything because, because, uh, sorry, I get run over by a, a golf car. You can't drink or anything because you're driving. So what's the point? And then I realised that a couple of minutes walk from where I am is a beach that's been voted by TripAdvisor five years in a row in the top 25 beaches in the world. A three minute walk from this main bear. And there it also has some beach clubs and things for you to go and sit and eat and drink so you think to yourself what is the point what is the point in getting one of these golf carts it's all a big scam they tell you it's what you're meant to do so everyone does it they're all there waiting for you as soon as you get off the ferry golf carts golf carts golf carts no not for me Let's go and have a look at some of the beaches down here that you can just walk to. Right, so I've literally walked about under five minutes from my hotel, which as I said is right by the ferry port here in uh, Isla Mujeres. I've walked past so many people trying to, trying to sell me or rent me a golf cart. It's unbelievable. And then I'm literally I'm on the beach. And as I said, this beach, uh, which I believe is called La Punta, No, Playa Norte. This has been voted the uh, in the top 25 best beaches in the world on TripAdvisor five years in a row. Not really big on beaches, if I'm honest, but I mean, you can see here, and I'm literally, if I spin you around. I mean, I'm right on the beach. That is five minute walk from my hotel now there are things you can do as i said when you get the golf carts um a lot of seasonal stuff that's why they don't sell there so you can go and um go and do turtle releases or see turtles hatching and stuff but that's only i think in the summertime may to um, august time uh so i'm here too early in the year and then Apart from that, as I said, there's other beaches and beach clubs to go to, but you're driving, so what's the point? You may as well walk here, this beautiful beach, chill out for the day. It's exactly what I'm going to do. 
Awesome. You can hear that in the background, the waves just crashing, it's nice. See, I don't like the beach, I'm not a beach kind of person. It mainly involves sitting around for too long for me, not doing very much, but I mean this is pretty special. Right across the, the sea here you can see Cancun in all of its massive conglomerate hotel glory. Um, so it's only a 15 minute ferry ride over to Islam Harris. It's quite touristy here, um, but I know where I'd rather be. And a little flashback. I came to Mexico, as I said, uh, eight or nine years ago. Um, one of the things I discovered then that I'd never heard of before was something called a Miami Vice. So it's half pina colada, half strawberry daiquiri put together and blew my mind then. <laughs> And I haven't seen it anywhere on a menu since I've been in Mexico for the last six weeks, but... Strawberry and coconut. Come on. 